Hi there, my name is Zafar. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to construct a sodium chloride structure. Well, I won't be going into deep detail and telling you all the physical and chemical properties of sodium chloride, but I will mainly be focusing on to construct a sodium chloride structure. Well, before you start, you must have a simple cubic lattice, just like this one. This is a lattice just because it is made up of lattice points. There are four corners at the top and four corners at the bottom and the lattice points are located at the corners. So this simple cubic will then go on to produce a sodium chloride structure. Well, sodium chloride is FCC in nature and uh, this simple cubic will go on to produce FCC. Well, there are some main steps before we proceed. Well, the first step is that to go to produce the sodium chloride structure is that to locate the mid edges. So there are about four edges at the top, four at the bottom and four at vertical edges of this cube. So locate all the mid edges. Well, if I just take this back top edge, some mid edge to be somewhere down here and this front top edge to be somewhere over here, and the other step is that join these two points through a line. For example, like this, by a fine line. And locate the mid edge for the top left, your left edge, and the top right edge over here. And join these two points by a line. For example, if I just proceed over here, and I will go to hit over here. Just pretend this is um, the midpoint of the top edge, right edge. And now the other step is that draw the verticals down onto the bottom of the mid edges. For example, this will rightly hit onto the mid edge of the bottom front edge. And similarly, for the same one for the back side and join these two points together by a nice fine line. Similarly, do the same for the left edge and the right edge. We'll hit onto the bottom right mid edge and join these two points together just like this. And uh, now the other step is that um, locate the vertical mid edges. For example, if, if I just take this front left mid edge to be somewhere down here and this back left edge somewhere down here, join them together by this line and just make a horizontal and draw a perpendicular onto a similar down here and for this one like here and join these two points together there you go now this structure is not completed what you have to do is that a look face center of the top and the bottom which is over here join these two by a line there you go and now the left center face center towards the right face center by this smooth line and the back face center towards the front face center through this line like this and there you go you get a midpoint this is known as the body center point of this lattice now this is a lattice structure just because uh, the, it is made up of lattice points. Now, uh, we will now go on to locate the positions of sodium and chlorine ions. So, uh, if I take the chlorine ion in the start and give its positions, well, the positions of uh, chlorine ion is zero, zero, zero. Then, the other position of the chlorine ion is half, half, zero. The third position is half, zero, half. 
and the last position of the chlorine ion is zero half half and similarly for the sodium ion well remember the valency of chlorine ion is negative and the valency of sodium ion is positive well for the sodium ion it's uh, quite easy to locate the sodium ions if we know the chlorine ions location well if, if this n is zero just write half zero half zero half this is how you can get the so position of the sodium ions for example here's half just write zero then this half write zero and this zero just write half for the sodium ion similarly to the same over here you'll get the position of the sodium ion now before we go and locate the positions of the chlorine ions uh, uh, one should remember that the position of the chlorine ions is at the latest points and uh, these latest points are found at the corners and at the face at the face center there you go so if I just uh, label to be the chlorine ion radii somewhat like this circle and the sodium radii circle atom or ion, ion I should say like this a smaller radii and I would just just color them for example color this one to be the red in color and this one in blue so that we can differentiate them properly so uh, given the position for the uh, chlorine ions which are at the corners so this is one corner with the larger atom uh, ion here here there you go these are the chlorine ions and they are all corners are done and they are also face centered so this is one face center this is the other one this is for the back this is for the right and this is the top face centered this is bottom and here you go they are all completed so color them with red just to so there you go you get the locations uh, the exact locations as mentioned here chlorine ions are face centered and they are located at the corners now for the sodium ions they are located at the mid edges for example there's one mid edge over here there's one mid edge over here here and there wherever there is a mid edge draw a sodium ion so there you go if I just color them and blue yeah, there you go now sodium ion is also located at the body center so this is the point of the body center just make one sodium ion at the center of the body so this there you go you get the positions of the chlorine and sodium ions in sodium chloride crystal structure now this is a crystal structure just because this structure is now made up of atoms so it's a crystal structure not a lattice structure anymore because lattice structure as I told you before is made up only of lattice points so the next step is that locating these pos the positions whether these chlorine ions are on these positions or not for that we should have a coordinate system so just making a coordinate system pretending and the horizontal axis to be along this side 
and along the vertical axis you'll get x axis and for the z pointing inward perpendicular both onto the x and y axis now if i just take this coordinate system and putting it right over here i'll get the positions over here this will be my x axis this will be my y axis and similarly this will be my z axis now if i just say my unit length is from one chlorine 9 to towards the other chlorine 9 for example from here up to here i give it to be my latest constant for the similar atoms or ions to be a now if i just and this is the point where i see half i travel half the distance and the from this point to here the half distance again and the half and half add up to be one down here the distance is represented by the latest by latest constant that is a so if i just uh, uh, label for the first chlorine 9 yeah, definitely this is my origin so this position of the chlorine ion will be zero 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 okay now if i just uh, locate the position of the second chlorine ion so the first one here stands half stands for x-axis distance travel along the x-axis or the magnitude along the x-axis and this is the magnitude along the y and zero for the z axis so this means travel x-axis half distance for example this is x-axis i just have to travel a half distance so this is a zero point and up to here is the half distance so what is telling us next to do is travel y-axis half distance so y-axis is going upward the vertical line so this is the vertical line up to here is the y-axis so how much z do i have to travel is zero so travel no distance for the z-axis to stay down here so do i find a chlorine ion down here yes i do this is the position the next second position for the chlorine ion which is this one now for the third position once again starting from zero travel the half distance which is down here then for the y-axis travel no distance stay where we where you are and for the z-axis travel half and my z-axis is inward towards the crystal system so inward down here this is the my next position sorry so this is my next position now for the last position of the chlorine ion well i have to start from the origin again so if this is my zero 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 position so x-axis is to be traveled zero distance it means go nowhere stay wherever you are and for the y-axis travel half down here for the z-axis travel half again which is this position so so this is my other position for the chlorine ion now let's take it let's let's take this a bit further let's locate the position for the sodium ions now the position for the sodium ions is half 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 for the first sodium ion so locate and uh, taking this as the origin now we have to find out whether sodium is ion is located at a half 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 distance so starting from the origin travel half distance which is this is half for the x-axis and this is half for the z-axis and this is half for the uh, y -axis. this is for the y-axis and this is for z-axis so this is the other position of the sodium ion now for the second one this is the second position for the sodium ion so starting again from the zero position travel x zero stay wherever you are travel y for the y-axis it means stay wherever you are don't move and travel half distance for the z-axis that is this way and there you go you get the other position of the sodium ion which is down here and you get a location of the sodium ion and for the third one Travel a distance of zero for the x-axis means stay the origin and travel half distance for the y-axis and travel zero distance for the z-axis. This is the other position 
of the sodium ion and for the zx uh, sorry for the last coordinate that is half along the x-axis travel y and z0 means stay wherever you are and there you go you get the position for the sodium ion so the positions of the sodium ions have been located and the chlorine ions remember the radii of the chlorine ions is greater than the radii of the sodium ions that's why the sodium chlorine ion has been made a bit larger than the sodium ion well uh, the other thing to remember about this crystal structure is that the coordination number is 6 for the sodium chloride structure. Well, to find out how is 6, just take any, any ion that is surrounded by other ions. For example, sodium ion down here is a better example because it is inside the body of the sodium chloride structure so if I just take this sodium ion and just find its nearest neighbors I find that chlorine is very nearest to it and sodium uh, the chlorine here is very nearest to it and uh, look, if you look at the top you'll get another chlorine ion look at the bottom get another chlorine ion similarly from the left and right these are the nearest neighboring distance of the sodium ions towards the opposite kind or opposite charge so this is how to find the this is how you can find the coordination number of sodium chloride structure well i hope you understood well in this video